All right, we have head coach Alfie Raft, Sheridan Leverett, and Audrey Pack. We will open it up to questions. Hi, coach. Hi, Sheridan. Hi, Audrey. Uh, coach, if you could just get an opening statement first. Yeah, uh, congrats to Wisconsin. Um, they're certainly, you know, they're everything that people say they are in terms of um, high octane team, high octane offense, um, big block. So I thought they did a nice job with just stabilizing as the match went along. Uh, I thought Schmreck, uh, she's, she's tough to stop offensively. I thought she came alive for them in the second and third set. Um, it was fun to watch Sheridan and her go at each other. I thought Sheridan had a great night tonight. I'm uh, really proud of how she competed against one of the bigger blocks in the country. I think she hit, you know, what she hit here. 368, that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, so I thought it was a good battle for most of it. We just weren't able to execute long enough uh, I thought we could have served a little tougher down the stretch of that match to pull them off the net. They were into in system too much, and it's tough to win matches when they're in system. Yeah. Perfect. And then um, you won your first set. So what sort of worked well in the first set that you felt like? Yeah, I think just what I said. I thought we served well. We were knocking them off, and we were capitalizing on their pins out of system and turning that those transition points. So I thought that was good. I thought Audrey set a, uh, a great match, and even the first two sets, we were pretty balanced, so kept them guessing. There was a lot of holes. Um, so again, just sustaining that for longer is probably uh, what we're looking at improving. And then Shannon, tonight you had 20 kills, which is your, the kill leader for tonight's match. So sort of going up against Wisconsin, what's going through your head when you're when you're making those kids or maybe getting those ones for your team? Um, yeah, you know, like Alfie said, um, they do have a very formidable big block. Um, but I think one thing we talked about was just not doing anything out of the ordinary, different from what we normally do, just approaching this match, um, being authentic to ourselves and not thinking we have to like change the way we approach anything. And so that's how I kind of went into it offensively um, and it ended up working. Um, so, yeah. And then Audrey, um, so what were like the big takeaways from tonight's match in your opinion? In my opinion, I would say that we know that when we're taking care of our stuff on our side of the net that we can go head to head with anyone in the country. And I think we've seen that in some of our other games. So I think it's a good opportunity moving forward just to keep working hard in practice and to take care of those plays on our side that we know that we can. Perfect. And then just sort of looking into the future for a bit, you guys are gearing up for your last away games for the season. So how are you guys feeling now that it's like your final two away games? I haven't even thought about it, to be honest. <laughs> like, we're just here and, uh, um, you know, I, I, gosh. Uh, Illinois, Indiana are, are tough, and uh, I think it's like any road match. We're going to treat it the same as any road trip uh, with the same intention and go about our equation of preparing and getting on the road and, uh, and battling. So I don't know that it changes, Rahoff, uh, but you know, we're excited at playing another two matches and some good competition on the road. That's all I have. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Rahoff. Thank you. Um, so she took a lot of the questions I was going to ask, too. But, um, <laughs> Coach, this one's for you. As um, as a coach, do, does playing a top team in the nation, how does it challenge how you develop your culture within the team? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, you know, we really fight hard not to be outcomes based and uh, not let things outside of external um, factors really dictate how we go about things, and so. Uh, certainly, it's, it can be challenging. Uh, our team's been really close all year on a number of matches, and we have to stay the course with making adjustments, uh, believing in the process that we have, and just staying steady with that. And so that's, that's what's in our control. You know, Our players have been tremendous with staying the course, regardless of the outcomes of matches all year. Uh, our staff has continued to try to find solutions. Uh, those aren't equating to wins, but we uh, we will not compromise that in how we go about things. And so we won't give that away to any other team or any results. Uh, it's just stay in the course with what we do.
Uh, um, this is for everybody. Um, that is one thing that I've noticed that that's been consistent. The answer is, you know, we're not going to change. It's not that you're not going to change the approach, but you're going to stick to the game plan. But when playing a team like that, when does the balance of switching things up a little bit and sticking to your approach? How how do you guys draw that line? That's a really good question. I think we front load a lot before the game in terms of like we have a really specific game plan that we have but then the coaches make it really clear that and especially with a team like this that we know is capable of a lot like start with our game plan but then once they make adjustments like we have to be ready to adjust back and forth too so i think just finding a good balance of both like you said um yeah just adding on to that i think um audrey said it perfectly like we have a game plan and we kind of go based on tendencies that happen majority of the time. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, a good team is a good team and they're able to switch it up, like she said. Um, so I think in terms of finding the balance, um, we know what they do, but that won't really change how we play our game. We kind of they play that their game how they play doesn't affect how we play if that makes sense yeah yeah i do want to follow up i mean uh i think sorry to add one more thing <laughs> no adaptations are what we do you know and so while we stay the course with how we approach the process we certainly want to make adjustments as they said uh, tactically um strategically in the games and um yeah i thought we uh to be honest i thought we could have been a little better there as a staff tonight in some areas so Audrey, um, when playing against teams like this, how does um, being a leader on the team, how does it challenge you and develop you to become, um, I guess, open up your perspective on what you can say or do to enhance your leadership? Yeah, and I can take this one. I think um, these are the type of matches that like, I like, looked, forward, looked forward to playing in since I was like so little. and. Um, just to be given the opportunity to compete in a match like this, um, I am just have so much gratitude, and I'm just like, wow, like, who would have thought? Like, it's just crazy how we're actually here. I'm actually here doing it now. So I think not taking that for granted, and um, yeah, just being full of gratitude. So yeah, similar answer. I think just gratitude for the opportunity, and then like throughout the match, just seeing everything kind of like even if we don't want a point just like learning from it and moving off of it like we said we talk a lot about like failure recovery and like when we do lose a point like not being down about it but just knowing like what did that what did i learn from that and what can i take to the next play with it to do better with it and coach my last question is i know you said um as a coach you don't necessarily focus on the outcome as much um, but my thing is, when, when do you kind of, I guess you could say, draw the line between improvement or level of improvement that you want to see as opposed to having an outcome that you want to have? Like, how do you balance that? And when do you kind of shift the mindset of saying, okay, I need to have an outcome at a, at a certain point? We don't disregard outcomes. Outcomes are, you know, the barometer of, like, our performance. So I'm not saying we're, we ignore... <laughs> losses like this nobody likes to lose and we certainly are paying attention that's that we wouldn't be here right if that wasn't the case but we use that to guide some of our decisions and how we go about training and so it's not just wins and losses but you know the stats the numbers of how we're performing and those are the outcomes we pay attention to and we we have standards we want to hit and so if we're not performing at a certain level we certainly want to get into the gym and make sure we address those things so uh, i hope it doesn't sound by any means that we are ignoring things uh it's not that's not the case. We just, we have to stay the course. We can't get too wrapped up uh, down on ourselves if, uh, you know, we're, nobody here likes losing, but we certainly aren't down on ourselves for days because there's no time for that. We gotta take the information, move, and make the adjustments and improvements where uh, we can see that. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. So else? Yeah, no, thank you. Thank Those you. are good questions, man. Thank you, man. yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. Got us. All right, thank you both. Appreciate your time. Of course.